Gas costs in the U.S. have been going up and up and up, hitting a national average of $4.73 in June. And these crazy prices have caused many people to consider getting an electric car. But is an electric car really cheaper in 2022? And is electricity really cheaper than gas? And won't my power bill at home skyrocket? So Ethan and I... Hi! have decided to do a little friendly competition between an electric car and a gas car. And the best way to do this is to do a road trip to find out which one is actually cheaper to run. And in this corner on Team Gas, we have a Toyota Prius. And on Team Electrons, we have a Mustang Mach-E with the blazing pony. But to make this even more interesting, the Prius is a 2016 and it is one of the most efficient gas cars on the road. While on the other hand, this Mustang Mach-E is one of the least efficient electric cars. The Toyota Prius is a hybrid, which means it has a small electric motor and a battery in addition to the gas motor, but you don't need to plug it in. So really this is an EV versus hybrid comparison. And yes, these are both our personal cars. And I thought it'd be fun to see what kind of real world results we can get. Okay, so here's the rules. We're gonna leave this parking lot and drive about 74 miles to Mojave, California. Then we're gonna go through the desert and then to the lower Sierras on our way to Bakersfield, California. That's about another 131 miles. Finally, we're gonna head back down to Los Angeles and that's gonna be about 300 miles, which coincidentally is more than the range of this, which is about 260. And to make things more difficult, we're gonna be driving through the mountains and EVs don't like driving through the mountains. The efficiency drops like a rock. Goodbye. I calculate it, we're gonna have to go about at least 6,000 feet up and down vertically, and that's gonna reduce the efficiency, so that means we're going to have to charge, and charging at public stations is definitely more expensive than charging at home. And the costs aren't just fuel. During the trip, we're gonna figure out the five-year cost to operate each car. So let's hit the road. We're today in Los Angeles. Gas is nearly $6 a gallon. All right, so I've got a full tank of gas. Uh, is your battery fully charged? Uh, I got it up to 100% at my house, but 95% by the parking lot. Oh, why are you starting at 95? There's no charger at the parking lot where we were. Ah, poor planning. The first part of our comparison is purchase price, and it was a little lopsided. So how much did you pay for that? Beautiful Prius. This lovely Prius cost me and my wife about $26,000 back in 2016. So how much was that Mach-E? So this was a lot more expensive than your, your Prius. Just, just a little bit more though. We don't need to talk about it. All right, Eric, so how much did this Mach-E cost you? All right, so it's a little complicated because there's credits involved, but it was about right. 68,600 before any credits. That's with the Ford X plan. Then there's a $7,500 federal rebate I'm gonna get. There's a $2,000 California rebate. And at the dealer, I got 750 bucks against the car. So 58,250. 58,250. So let's see, that is carry the one 2.6 times the cost of my lovely Prius. So, I mean, I guess this is kind of fancy, I, I, you know, I, but my Prius is pretty cool, right? Yeah, your Prius is super cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most expensive Mustang Mach-E, yeah. but there is the Select, which is about $45,000, and there's some other choices you can get too that are a lot cheaper. Yeah, you can still get a Nissan Leaf, that's pretty inexpensive. Yeah, and the Chevy Bolt's about $32,000, and you know, the range is two fifty dollars now. And Chevy recently dropped the price to about $26,000, but there are other factors that go into your five-year operating cost, namely depreciation. And I did a bit of research, and in normal times, Times, not like we're having now, I found that the depreciation on both the Prius and the Mach-E would be about 38% over five years. Okay, so if this Mach-E in five years is worth about 38%, we're just going with standard depreciation, which I found online, that means this car is gonna be worth about $20,000. Yeah, I've gone from 58 to 20. You've gone from about 26 to 10. But my Prius is cooler, right? Uh, you've got AC in there, so yes. Next, we drove to the beautiful Kern River Valley, and it was very windy, and there was a lot of uphill. All right, so how was your range on that little section right there? The driving was great. The range, not so great. In fact, it was around the worst I've ever seen in the car. Coming up this hill into this park, I was getting 0.9 miles per kilowatt hour. That's not very good <laughs> at all. That's really bad. <laughs> and so from the last charger, 
I started at 90%, now I'm at 59%. I've used 41% to go somewhere around 40 miles. I'll put it up on screen what the actual distance is. Not very good. <laughs> 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 All right, so far we've talked about purchase price, depreciation, range anxiety, but we haven't talked about insurance. So EVs should be cheaper to insure, right? No, that's not exactly true. Actually, according to Money Geek, EVs cost about 15% more to insure. They say that the Mustang Mach E average national is about 1784 a year to insure. So by that logic, about 15% less, the Prius would be about 1500. Sorry. EV people and I own this car. I'm, I'm trying to root for this car. Over a five year period that actually adds up. So if you take 1784 by five years, that's about $8,920. The $1,500 for the Prius by five years, that's about $7,500. So the difference is about $1,420 cheaper to insure the Prius. But remember, you're driving a sweet Prius. It is pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> This is beautiful. I've never been on this road before. It's awesome. You know, I was pretty pessimistic at our last stop about my state of charge situation. Now, going downhill, I've gained it all back. Well, not all back, but I've gained a lot back, but I still do need to stop in Bakersfield because not gonna make it quite back to the parking lot where we started. Well, you're not gonna make it back, huh? I can actually still go 350 miles. 350 miles? I can go 87. Pretty close, right? Yeah, we better get to that charger. We made it to the Charger in Bakersfield, so let's talk about our next cost, which is maintenance. So far, I've spent nothing on maintenance. This car is almost brand new, but things that you normally associate with maintaining a vehicle, like oil changes, transmission issues, differential fluid, and all kinds of other stuff, you just don't have to deal with that on an EV. Now, it's not to say EVs are gonna be free to maintain, but they are pretty inexpensive. Consumers Reports estimates that it might cost half of what it does to maintain an EV compared to a traditional gas-powered car. As for Ethan's Prius, he only spent about $700 maintaining it over the last five years. So let's head back down to Los Angeles and tally up the fuel cost. Yeah. For 307 miles, Ethan averaged about 45 miles per gallon. He used 6.84 gallons at 570 a gallon. Total trip cost of about $39. How much did I spend on electricity? I spent $40.21. Yes, that's $1.22 more than Ethan spent. Let's figure out why. Okay, the main reason is because mostly I had to charge on the road and that's more expensive. Charging the road cost me an average of 31 cent per kilowatt hour. When I charge at home, it's about 20 cents. So for this trip, I used 143 kilowatt hours at an average cost of 28 cents per kilowatt hour cost me over $40, so yeah, I'm really surprised. I thought the results of this were gonna be very different. There's three big factors at play here. First off, the Mach-E is not a very efficient EV. Second, the Prius is super efficient at 45 miles per gallon. And third, it just costs more to charge on a road trip than it does at home, about 50% more. Now let's tally up the five-year cost for either driving an EV or a hybrid like the Prius. So round one is the initial expense and depreciation. So the Prius at $26,000 purchase cost versus over $58,000 for the Mach-E with incentives, obviously gives the Prius a big advantage. And if we factor in depreciation, figuring these cars are both gonna be worth about 38% at the end of five years, that means the Prius has depreciated about $16,000, whereas the Mach-E has depreciated over $42,000. Next up is the insurance round. So yes, the Prius is cheaper to insure. It is one of the cheaper cars in the market. Another vehicle might be more expensive. So insurance, probably not gonna be a big factor over five years. Next up is the maintenance round. Now obviously the Prius has been super cheap to maintain. I'm expecting EVs are gonna be pretty cheap to maintain too. So this category is probably almost definitely gonna go towards the EV side. Next up is fuel cost. And I'm just assuming the cost of fuel is gonna stay the same as for this video, although it might rise. Now the Prius at 45 miles a gallon is one of the most efficient vehicles on the road. It's gonna cost you somewhere around $56, $5,700 over five years. Now, if you charge the Mach-E at an average of 15 cents per kilowatt hour, which is around the nationwide average, over that same five years, it's gonna cost you about $3,700. But what about a very average car that gets an average 23 miles per gallon, no hybrid, over the same 60,000 miles, something like this is gonna cost you about $10,000 in fuel costs, 
versus the $3,700 for the hybrid. And the picture gets even worse as your fuel economy gets lower. Let's say you got a 17 mile per gallon truck, you're looking at about $15,000 in fuel costs over the same time frame. From a pure economic perspective, an EV makes more and more sense to keep your costs down on a daily basis. So what is it gonna cost you to run both of these cars over five years? So obviously the Prius was less expensive to purchase and it just has less depreciation. We're talking about $16,000 worth of depreciation over five years versus over $42,000 for the Mach-E. Then we add up insurance, maintenance, and fuel, and uh, the Prius is the big winner at about $35,000, your total five-year cost, whereas the Mach-E is gonna cost you about $59,000. This is gonna give you a pretty good baseline of what it's gonna to cost to run a hybrid versus what it's going to cost to run this particularly expensive EV. Now, if you're looking at day-to-day -day running costs, it's pretty hard to beat an EV if you're charging at home. That is gonna be cheaper than the Prius. I was very surprised at the road trip costs being so close, but obviously if we got that hypothetical 23 or 25 mile per gallon car, it's not gonna be that much of a contest. The Mach-E is going to win pretty much every time, even charging on the road. Let me know what other comparison videos you wanna see. There's another video on the screen right now. I guarantee you wanna watch it. My name is Eric. Thanks for watching.